from Minute Maid Park in Houston. An AOS matchup on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway. And towing the mound for Houston in this one, Spencer Arigetti. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Ready to get underway. Here's the veteran second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. Tucker should have it. Makes the grab one down. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Travis Jankowski. Well, Boog, I'm sure he hated to see the calendar turn. Hit over 400 last month, and that's the kind of momentum that you just want to continue into the next month. He's one of the hottest hitters in the game right now, and I can't wait to watch him swing it. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Strike on the inside corner. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One out, base is empty. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. Altuve slings to first, and Seager is set down. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Wow. And that's in the dirt. 1-0. and oh. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. And there's the strike. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Misses oh. inside, and it's two and two. Yeah, some guys just have instincts right I mean that's the way it goes we talk about Larry Walker the Hall of Famer and his instinct on the bases despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid swing and he breaks his back Bregman is under it and the Rangers set down in order and now the Astros go to work for the first time no score you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show Back here in Houston, and our starting pitcher here today, Yeri Rodriguez. What do you have on him, Singy? There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Leading off, Jose Altuve. Altuve. Remember Mark Kotze, he was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. The wind and the pitch. One and two. Fly ball lifted in the air right field. Jankowski drifts towards it, makes the catch for the out. 
Now we check out the Astros lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here's Jordan Alvarez. First pitch swinging. Oh, yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. That's inside, that's a ball. and that's ball one. Good eye in that spot. Two balls, one strike. Hard hit, left side. To first, and yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. The right field. Here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, that's left, throws right, hitting third in the lineup. A former first round pick back in 2015. There's a strike, 95 of that one. On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. And Tucker is retired. That ends the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. The Lone Star Series rolls on. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Eric Getty back to work. Lifted in the air right center field. Tucker on the move. He's got it. One away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Just off the inside ball. edge. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. That missed, that's the Next ball. offering upstairs. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Now the catcher up to hit. Jonah Heim popped up to the left into foul ground. Bregman is under it, and there are two outs. Jared Walsh stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs. Now right. one and one. Then he really sells one the changeup with that arm action. All Next right. offering is in for a strike. Inside just missed. It's a good take. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. And that just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. 
Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. He goes down looking. Rangers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Here's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. The why to kick the pitch. And that uh -huh. one just oh. missed off the outside edge. Next pitch misses. And now 2-0. And the righty deals. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And next to hit for Houston, Yaner Diaz. On the ground a second, might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Now, here is Jeremy Pena. Slap the other way, foul. Diaz, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That ball. one close, ruled a ball. One ball, one, one strike. One. one plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Check on the run. It's low and gets away. Runner on the goal. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. One away. Tie game. Go ahead. Run stands at first. Bottom half of inning number two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. The one two. Go to lay off that pitch down. Kicks and deals. Oh. Oh, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Payoff pitch. And ball oh. four to a board. Batter cut. The left field. First and second, one out. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Not even close there. And it's one to know. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Kicks and fires. Good. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing That's that early in the count. And another ball. Two he's points. looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Pitch misses there. Three and one back. Jose Abreu waiting to hit for Houston. One out. Runners at first and second. Fought off foul. Got him. 
Now two away. Jose Abreu up to hit. Just no, missed. Paul. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swings and misses. And a count one, one, one and one. Fouled off. He was late. And a ball in two strikes. That one down the line. And that's just foul. Right into the plate. Goes down looking. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Travis Jankowski. And a pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Tapped softly on the ground, Pena. Now the throw to first on the run. On target. He got him. Nice play. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Leody Tavares. Strike on one. Oh and one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Short hop liner handled it short. Over to Abreu. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. So the Rangers batting order turns over. So next to hit for Texas, Marcus Simeon. He's over one. Just missed. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That That's one ball. misses. Ball three. Corey Seager waiting to hit for the Rangers. And there's ball oh, four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Seager stands in down. It's in there. That's strike one. Simeon off of first with two away. That one hammered left field way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. The pitch. 
fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. This one in the air. Smith should have this one. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Okay. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. All tied up here in the last half of the third. And that one fouled off. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. And That's another well ball. Down. And that's too Go high. Ball, ball four. four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow, Boog, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Alvarez in the box now. Takes strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. There's the strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Man at first, one away. Next offering is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And a pitch. That two, one not close. Now two and two. Ball is foul and the pressure is building. Left hand batter waits. Ball. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Hit on the ground might be two. Quickly to second for one. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here in Houston, start of the fourth. And now Evan Carter. The pitch. And that's nope. off the inside edge. Ball one. one He's been up. pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, Good. we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Rescue! Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And now two and two. Oh, 
bounce to the right side. Altuve slings to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. And that one ripped into right. And now maybe extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Here comes the throw. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So a change being made out at second on the pinch run, Ezekiel Duran. Now, Josh Smith. He reached out a walk his first time. Center field on the move. Got him. Nice grab. Two way down. Up next for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. First time up was a pop out. And That's ball one. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. Top half of inning number four. And now two and nothing. Right through there for a strike. Out to short. Over to Abreu. And that is the inning. One left for Texas. And we are still scoreless. Ready to go. Bottom four. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. The line of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Next pitch, not close, up high. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Rolled slowly to first. And he picks it up in foul territory. And the pitch. And another no, ball. Out. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. On the ground right side. Simeon. Tosses the first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Good late fight on that slider. Got the hitter out front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And now it's Alex Bregman. And he's already singled in this game. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He muscles that one out of here. His first homer of the year. The Astros strike first. It's one hit.
You're not going to be able to wipe the smile off his face for a while, Boog. He just changed the game. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Yainer Diaz, the next to hit. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's 0-1. And he deals. And he takes a strike. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still low and two. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Here's the shortstop at the plate, Jeremy Pena. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, bases empty. There's yeah. a strike. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look one. up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Nine. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. One. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. Not two close with that one, and that's ball two. Next Down offering is outside. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Bounced out to short. Seeger over to first. Inning over. Alex Bregman brings the power for Houston. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Jared Walsh. Eric Getty back to work. On the inside corner for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. And that one lifted in the air center field. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. One up, one down. Travis Jankowski now at the plate. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
just missed. A one run lead. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. One and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next no, offering that is down ball. low. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And it's two down. Last chance now for the Rangers. Laoti Tavares getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pop up on the left side of the infield. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He pulls it down. And the Astros hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Shades of Juan Marichal in this one, Boo. Outstanding work on the mound. A one-hitter for your first MLB win. Certainly something special.